I S U P K. To the family, brother Red Pill representing on the ledge. Do me a favor, family. Make sure you subscribe to ISUPK on YouTube. Get some of that fire that the brothers are delivering. Some of that good information, all right? Brah. celebrating these pagan holidays, man. You understand? Black man, Native man, Hispanic man, you have no business celebrating these pagan holidays where every one of these pagan holidays that come around is nothing but lust food. You understand? Right? We're going to go into, we're going to go into, we're going to go into Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, right? Go ahead, go ahead and read where you at, bro. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, who also declared unto us Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 Beware lest any man spoil now Hold on It said beware Beware don't say go to It said what again? Beware Beware man stand from You see a trespassing sign That's telling you beware But what's ever inside that gate Or what's ever inside it That you don't want to mess with Go to read from the top Beware Lest any man spoil you through philosophy In right. vain deceit after the tradition of men. After the tradition of men, right? Can't nobody on the face of the earth tell me the white man is not a devil and the devil that the Bible speaks of. A devil is simply means a deceiver. You understand? Can't nobody else say, read that from the top, beware what? Lest any man spoil you through what? Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Through philosophy, man. Through celebrating these holidays right here, man, they celebrate, you, you, they tell you philosophy. You got National Girlfriend Day, National Hug Day, National Climate Tree Day. Every day, every day is some, some philosophy for you to follow that's just gonna take you further and further away from the truth. You understand? They know us, they know we don't wanna hear the truth, but we shy from the truth. We wanna live day type of life and look up to them in that suit and tie, where nothing but crime lies behind that suit and tie, man. Nothing but crime, and there's no, there's no justice that comes from it, man. How the person that do the crime, we go to to get uh, to get justice from them. You understand? We can't go to them type of people to get to get looked at to get to get justice from them, man. You understand? The devil means nothing but a deceiver, and you're saying has been deceiving the black native and Hispanic man. You understand? We've been had to hit out on us, and you know saying it's been followed through us following these laws. I mean, through us following the, these pagan holidays, man. You understand? Any black man or woman that stand out here, you know, saying wholeheartedly believe in your enemy, the white man is your savior. And that the brothers out here that's behind this podium you see before you today is your enemy. Now, we trying to get you off that drug that's stronger, that's stronger than anything that you can inject into your body. You understand? We, we injected some mentally, philosoph some, some philosophy into our mental and applying it that is right. You understand? When you come into the truth, you find out what's right and you find out what's wrong. In other words, you find out what's lawful and you find out what's unlawful. You know what I'm saying? Being homosexual is unlawful. The Lord is not with that. You understand? Following these pagan holidays, the Lord is not with that, man. You understand? You know what I'm saying? We black, we Jake out here, man. And we love to party, man. We got to party the way the Lord tells us to party, man. A birthday lasts for a day. You know what I'm saying? You got Valentine's Day that lasts for a day, let alone the wickedness that's behind these. The Lord likes for us, to, for his people, for his children, to party. And to party hard. You understand? But we only gonna get to do that when we come back to this when we come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. You understand? The Lord is with the feast of unleavened bread. The Lord is with the Passover. You understand? The Lord is with the feast of first fruits. You understand? The Lord is not with your personal day. 
of celebrating wickedness, you understand, and somehow you end up behind bars, somehow you end up doing this and this and that, that's because the Lord is not with that, right? Read that from the top one more time. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men. After the traditions of men. Everything that we see ourselves doing today that's called a celebration is nothing after the traditions of men. So like, it's nothing after the traditions of men, man. You understand that we sit up here and we want to defend these holidays for our own reasons. Thanksgiving, this happened. Valentine's Day, this happened. But we take that pagan holiday and we make it, we make it whatever reason we want to justify why we're doing it, right? We don't want to see the white man that's trying to deceive you and destroy you through you celebrating these pagan holidays. You got to let the clown have the circus, man. You can't be out here trying to do the same things that these heathens are doing. These heathens, they breaking the law. The law is not born. You understand? And, and when we want to defend our oppressor, that's something you call Stockholm Syndrome, man. Stockholm Syndrome, you want to defend your oppressor, and there's a couple things that comes to that when you don't want it to, to see what it is that your oppressor has you doing and has you following. We don't want to see what it is. Stockholm Syndrome is the number one thing that goes on in the black people's community, man. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of us that say, slavery, I was never in slavery. Forget about slavery. We were given the same opportunities as them when we truly weren't, man. You understand? We may be able to go to the same schools as them, but they don't have to go through the same things that we got to go to, go through. You understand? They don't get pulled over and go through the half the things that we go through. They don't get talked to the same way we go to. We get invited to a Thanksgiving. Let you get invited to a Thanksgiving by one of your little white friends. You're going to sit at the table looking left and right because there's a fat behind pig on there with an apple in his mouth looking homosexual. You understand? With a big, a big, a big pig on the, on the table, you're going to be looking left and right because you know you don't belong there. You understand? You go inside to celebrate these feast days with these heathens and you know outright that you're not even supposed to be there through the way the food tastes, the vibe in the room, everything else and above. You come celebrate one of the Lord's, one of the Lord's uh, 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 high holy days, and you're going to see the brotherhood. You're not going to see anybody stealing from anybody. You know what I'm You're going to see being drinks being poured out. You know what I'm You're going to see rank and order and the brotherhood that's going on. There's no rank or order that's going on within the world. And we got to step away from that, man. We can't keep giving ourselves to these wicked, to these wicked holidays, man. None of it. If, 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 in the Bible, no stepping outside the Bible, this is what goes on. This is what goes on in our life, man, when we decide to celebrate these birthdays, man. We, kill, we, we get killed, man. We get lied to. We see something that's not truly there. God, skip me down to, um, skip me down to Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 29. Right? We're going to go to Deuteronomy tw chapter 12. All right, no problem. Right? You know what I'm saying? For the Stockholm Syndrome, man, all kind of the uh, 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 curve. You know what I'm saying? There has to be a clear, severe rank, uh, 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 distribution of, 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 of rank order. You have, a, you have the slave master and the slave in order for you to have that Stockholm Syndrome to occur. You understand? To that point to where they, they, it's, it's, it's seen as an uh, uh, instinct to do whatever the oppressor says to do in order for you to, 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 to survive. It's, a, it's called a survival instinct. You understand? Your, 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 captor, your captor has you so, so oppressed that anything they say to do, through their philosophies, through the things that they celebrate, you decide to do, and not seeing what it does to you. You know what I'm saying? You have a lot of, a lot of us that smoke or that eat pork, and the first thing they'll say is, Salaki. First of all, what this, what this brother's saying is totally right. What this, what this, what this brother's bringing down is the difference between, there, there's, there's holidays or high holy days, better pronounced, and holy conv holy convocations in the Bible. In the Bible, black man, you are the the Bible is all about you. The Bible is about is about the Jews, and the Jews are black. Christ is a black. Is black Christ is a, is a Jew, and he's a black man. It says this in Revelations. Moses is a Jew, and he is black. Moses was a black man. So the holidays in the Bible, like Passover, Purim, Feast of Dedication, you should be saying in a, in a, in a Feast of Unleavened Bread. You should be celebrating those high holy days and those holidays because they bring a uh, they bring a remembrance to your people, man. They bring a, they bring a remembrance of your ancestors and your father's past. Compared to when you celebrate Christmas, it is nothing but the worship of another god named Nimrod, some filthy Ethi some filthy Ethiopian. It has nothing to do with Christ. That is a lie. 
what you gotta understand is that wrong, what you, got, what you gotta understand is this, that the white man has conquered the earth, and for him to get you to agree and to live with him, he will compromise some things. So Easter, he compromised. Easter was really about a, a, a female goddess named Ishtar. But he said, you know what? If I can, if I could better get these, get these slaves to be comfortable with being my slave, I'll say Easter is now about Jesus. When well, Easter was never about Jesus, man. Constantine did a bad job. Um, you, you celebrate Christmas. It has nothing to do with Christ. It has everything with it has everything to do with the white man getting your money. Right. And that's it, man. The white man getting your money, and man, moreover, you did you 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 angering God because you are worshiping another God when you celebrate Christmas, which is, which is about Nimrod. You anger God when you celebrate Easter because it's a, it is it is not about Christ. Right. It is about the worship of a goddess, and I'm gonna get it. I know you Christians. I know you Christians never heard that God hates, but you're gonna hear it right now in Amos chapter five and twenty-one. Read. Amos chapter five and twenty-one. I hate what? I hate. Are you serious? Are you? Is that really in the Bible? Or I mean, because I've been Christian all my life, and I never, and, I, and, 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 and the pastor never said that God hated anything. The pastor told me that God loves everything, but the Bible says what? I hate. The Lord says he hate what? Because you, you, you can love and hate certain things. You do not have to love everything. Go ahead. I despise your feast day. I hate and I despise your feast days. Why would God say that? Because it has nothing to do with him. Read on. I will not smell in your solemn assembly. He said I will not smell in your solemn assembly. As, uh, assemblies. Meaning what? When you gather together, when you gather together to celebrate a holiday like Thanksgiving, which is about Thanksgiving, which is the worship and the celebration of the, of the death of your brothers, the Native American Indians. What are you doing, man? The Lord hate that. Why? Because the Native American Indians is his children and your brothers. When you gather together and to celebrate Easter, which has nothing to do with rabbit and eggs. When the hell has a rabbit ever laid an egg? The white man is retarded, man. And you were retarded for following his, his evil propaganda, man. Go ahead, read on. Good, verse 22. Though you offer me burnt offering. And let me tell you another thing they did on they did it in Easter. Easter is a worship of Ishtar, right? And the, and the peak of the worship of Ishtar, the goddess, in her temples, she would have women come and have sex in the temples in exchange for a blessing or in exchange for a gift. That was the worship of Easter. The original worship of Easter is about a fertility goddess named Ishtar. And in the peak of her worship in her temples, women would have sex for blessings or gifts. What is that today? It's called prostitution, man. Eastern has nothing to do with Christ. It has everything to do with having sex and being a whore. That's why you're trying to have sex on all these holidays. You can't, you can't wait to see who your cousin brought on the holiday. So you can, so you can, so both of y'all can get drunk and have sex, and you can, and then you gonna try to call her the next day, and then she's not gonna answer the phone because she has a man at home. She has committed adultery, man. Go ahead. Don't want to Though you offer me burnt offerings. The Lord said, though you offer me burnt offerings, though you go, though, though you cook that food on Thanksgiving, though you cook that food on Easter, and everybody hold hands in a circle, everybody hold, ha hold hands, bow your head, and you say that prayer, what? Son of God. And your meat offerings, I will not accept them. I will not accept them. The Lord, is not, the, the Lord does not accept your prayer at Easter or Thanksgiving because it is a worship of another God. And it does not matter what you say today. That's what? Because I, when I was born, I was born Christian. I celebrated Thanksgiving. I celebrated Easter, right? Now that I don't, my parents tell me this. You, you can still come to Thanksgiving. It's just about being thankful. No, the hell it's not. It is about the murder of the Native American Indians, man. Ne never forget with the white the white man's murder. Never, never forget the white man's violent crimes. Because he does not forget the crimes that is done against him. The white man does not forget when the, when the, when the Arabs so-called came and knocked down the Twin Towers. It is good. The white man, the white man should not forget. The white, the white man should not forget, man. 
Yes, man, man. We don't worry about no drug addicts over here, man. We we talking we talking the fuck. Every drug every drug addict thinks they think they know something. They think they, they think they get high and they're so knowledgeable, man. Everybody that's high, man, you just you all about worshiping yourself and, and praising your own thoughts. You should sober up and stop getting high. Just sober up. Maybe if you sober up, you can see reality. You can see that the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. You will see that America is evil for what they do. And they, and they worship other gods. Read on. Let's get back. Go ahead. I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offering of your fat beast. They said what? Neither. Neither will I regard the peace offering of your fat beast. The Lord said he will not regard the offering of your fat beast. That fat pig you have on the table, the Lord said what? I will not regard the peace offering. He ain't gonna regard it. The Lord don't give a damn about you. The Lord don't give a damn about you getting in the circle, holding hands and praying at Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter because it has nothing to do with the worship of him. And he is a jealous God. He does not accept you worshiping another God. If you celebrate pagan holidays, you are disobeying God. That's what the Bible says. And he does not hear your prayer. I know you feel good and Christian. I know you feel good and spiritual. You vibrating at the Thanksgiving table. But that is nothing but demons, man. Go ahead, up. Go. Verse 23. Take that away from me. The Lord said, take Thanksgiving away from me. The Lord said, take Christmas and Easter away from me. Why? Because it has nothing to do with him. Go ahead. The noise of that soul. The noise of your songs. Why? Because at Christmas, what do you sing? At Christmas, you sing a song of Christmas. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. And you know you got the other songs. You got black people, you know, we're so talented. You got Chris Brown and all the other, uh, Mariah Carey. Black people, they, they remix the Christmas songs and make it sound great. But it's, it is horrible to God. Even God, even though that God made the black and Hispanics the most talented people, the Lord does not want to hear Chris Brown or Mariah, Mariah Carey remix, remix some, um, a remix Silent Night or remix some Christmas songs because that song that this is not of the worship of Him, man. Go ahead. Oh God, for I will not hear the melody of that vow. There you go. It says the Lord should not hear what the what the melody. The Lord is not going to hear, hear the melody of what? The vows. Of your vows. The Lord does not want to hear Silent Night and Old Christmas Tree. He does not give a damn because it is the worship of a pagan God. Right. And, the, and, the, and, the, and that, is, that has always been our downfall, black man. You got to understand, in the Bible, we just, we just, like, too. We, just came, we just came from Passover, right? We just came from celebrating Passover. April 20th, it was, it, was, it was about us remembering our fathers and what they went through. You know, you know when Moses went to, went to Pharaoh, you know Moses when he went to Pharaoh, let my people go. You know that story, right? You know that the, that the Lord killed every firstborn of those Egyptians because that was our enemy and our captor. So the Lord told our people to put blood of the, the blood of the lamb on the door. And once they put the blood of the lamb on the door, the spirit of the death was going to come through Egypt and pass over you if you had that blood on your door and kill every firstborn, every firstborn of your enemy, man. Isn't that more precious and more respectful to celebrate Christmas? What, 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 can't, why can't we go back to celebrate things that is about our history, man, right. and about remembering our victories? Right. We're not going, 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 going to remember our victories. In, in this, when are gonna, when are gonna, when are we gonna remember our falls, so we can remember it and learn from it and not fall again? If we continue to celebrate Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving, we are gonna continue to fall because God hates it. If we, if we now drop these these pagan holidays and celebrate the holidays in the Bible, grab your flyer. You'll learn about the holidays in the Bible. If we celebrate the holidays of God. We will, we will continue, we will start becoming more victorious and become the ruler, the ruling race on the earth. With that, Shalom, go ahead. Hey man, y'all give, give, give a hand for that, uh, for that priest that, uh, that priest right there, that powerful speaking he's brought out, man. Right? That brother was bringing out something, something very key, man. 
everything, every single holiday, right? We try to mix it, every single pagan holiday, these wicked holidays, we try to mix it with the Bible, man, and make it try to sound righteous and make it try to feel good, man. When the brother brought out that celebrating these pagan holidays, man, nothing but whoredom goes on. You're whoring for other gods. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're idolizing. You're whoring your bodies, man. You understand? You, 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 you're sitting here, you, you, we're, we're, we're killing the image and, and adding on to that image of, that, of how we already are looked at, blacks, natives, and Hispanics, man, when we decide to celebrate these holidays, man. And like I said, nothing good goes on when we decide to do this. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1. Right? Nothing good happens when we decide to try to uh, when we decide to try to join them on their feast days, man. You understand? The Lord is not, He's not willing, He doesn't, He doesn't want to hear any of your any of those songs, the so-called gospel. We don't want to hear that tangerine. He don't want to hear none of that sweet stuff. You understand? Because understand that the Lord is a man of war. You understand? He doesn't want to, He doesn't want to dwell in those type of uh, places and you feel like his name is in there, man. Read what you got, right? Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1 Hear ye the word which the Lord spake unto you Read that from the top Hear, the, hear ye the word which the Lord spake unto you You understand? The Lord said hear ye the word You know what I'm saying? It doesn't say talk You gotta shut your mouth for a second and hear the word That's what I do you Go ahead O house of Israel O house of who? O house of Israel Everyone O house of Israel Chinese man O house of Israel The Japanese man O house of Israel, the, the African man. O house of Israel, it says the O house of Israel. Hear ye the word, O house of Israel. You know what I'm saying? If you're not on this twelve tribes, uh, these twelve sides, uh, this twelve sides sign right here, man, you can keep walking. You know what I'm saying? But black stands and Hispanics, you need to listen right here on what this is bringing out. Go ahead. Verse two. Thus saith the Lord, lead. It says, learn not the way of the heat. It says, learn not the way of the heat. Read that one more time. Learn not the way of the heathen. It does not say follow the heathen. It doesn't say inquire to what, they, what the heathen got going on. What's in their bag? What's in their cup? What's in that box? What's under that tree? You understand? It doesn't say, it, it, it says learn not the way of the heathen, man. You understand? You have to understand black man, native man, Hispanic man. You have enemies, man. You understand? And we supposed to leave them alone. Because they don't have any love from us. The white man and every other nation get love from their old people. You understand? The Chinese get back to the Chinese. You understand? The Ethiopians get back to the Ethiopians. You understand? You look at D.C. alone where it used to be Chocolate City, man. This is what happens when you decide to celebrate these holidays. You give all your money to trying to, 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 try to worship some, uh, some wicked woman on a Valentine's Day, on an Easter, on a Christmas, and you're not able to pay your rent. If you're not able to pay your rent, black man, how are we going to get our own businesses and our own, and our own buildings in our cities if we, don't, if we can't even pay our rent, man, from celebrating these pagan holidays? Nothing good comes from them, man. You understand? Read that from the top, man. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 1. Huh? I'm like chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh to you, right. O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, right. learn not the way of the heathen. You know what I'm saying? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Any words you hear us saying, man, you know what I'm saying? It definitely came from this Bible right here. You had to say, talk to us about Commander General Johanna. We ain't out here just saying how, 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 what we think. You know what I'm saying? The Bible thinks the same thing. Not only can we see eyes for what it is, you understand? When we decide to celebrate these holidays, black people, every holiday for them, you know what I'm saying? Us, we just get high. You understand? And we go and we, and, and we do some foolish abomination to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Every holiday that come around, it's a work day to be off or to slave and go to work. And after, you sit there go right back to getting high, man. We sit here and go right back to getting high. And we blind to what the truth is, man. Because there's no growth, man. For the last 400 plus years, we've been celebrating their pagan holidays. And we're still doing the same thing. We're still going to Christian on first, uh, uh, we're still going to the Christian church on first Sunday. How many times are we going to uh, find a new best fit uh, 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 for your Sunday's best? You know what I'm saying? How many times are we going to get a, 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 a pink or a powder blue uh, suit? With, a, with, a, with some table, with some tablecloth, you know what I'm saying? How many times we gonna go out? And sooner or later, we 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 gotta see that okay, there's nothing that goes in this. I'm not getting no sisters in this. I'm not learning nothing in this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not nothing but going off and trying to show off what I got, man. And who does it best? Your Christian pastor. You know what I'm saying? TD Jakes out there with the with the five thousand uh, dollar uh, shoes on. You understand? Know I with with the flying suit, tailored and everything else and above. 
Why you sitting there in rags, in rags with no riches, man? You understand? You got that brother, Matthew 15 and 3? Let him know you Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. Right. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress? Now, the scribes, these are the scribes of Pharisees that approached Christ, right? And Christ said, What? Read that again. Go ahead, give what you got. These are the scribes of Pharisees that approached Christ. You know what I'm saying? They approached Christ. Now, you got to be a bad man to approach Christ. You understand? You got to be a bad man and believe that whatever you're doing is, is solid to approach Christ, knowing that this man is different from the rest. Right? Go ahead and read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. Right. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God? Now, right. Now, to transgress the commandment of God, of course, you got to do the opposite of what he said to do. Now, Christ is pretty much, he, he, he cutting, you know what I'm saying? He cutting the, the, these guys of Pharisees, man, right? He said, hold on, Bartholomew. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said why do you transgress the commandments, man? You know what I'm saying? For your, for, uh, for, for tradition of men. He's cutting them in other words. You understand? He said, hold on, Bartholomew, crying. He said, why, why, why are you, also, when you trying to come and be about one of my men, but what, what are you doing? Why, what's your excuse on why you transgressing the law? You understand? And hey, drop down to verse 7, right? Go ahead. Ye hypocrites. Ye what? Ye, 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 ye hypocrites. Ye hypocrites. You understand? To be a hypocrite, he said, whatever you say, you understand, you are doing the same thing that you're trying to give advice about. You're doing the same thing about. Now, what you see these brothers behind this barrier telling you to do, we're not doing them things. You understand? As a whole, as a nation, we got deceived. That it ain't just an individual aspect. We have to, as black as, as black citizens and Hispanics, we have to hop out of our own shoes and fill the shoes of our nation, of our people. Just because you've never been arrested for smoking or never been molested or arrested or wrongfully done by some police officer doesn't mean your people have it. Doesn't mean your children can't go through it. You understand? You have to look at it from a nation aspect and see that we are all one. You understand? We want to be all one with the go-go. We want to be all one with this our music. We created soul music. We created. We want to be all one with everything else. But what the truth is, man, we want to be all things, everything else. The Lord has the perfect way. The ICPK under Commander Juliana has the perfect and the only way for us to be as one, man. Y'all should have seen what the brother brought up, man. Y'all should have seen the 50th anniversary Passover that was held in Jamaica, Queens, New York, man. Y'all should have seen it was a beautiful thing. Y'all thought about, uh, uh, what was it on, uh, on 8th Street or whatever, they had the go-go thing going on? Y'all saw it over, they said it was over 3,000 people over there. And we could all, so I get Florida Avenue over there, the go-go jump, right? And we, we missing something very key in here, man. You look at what happened at the Passover, we had thousands of brothers and sisters. Not hoeing, not smoking, you understand, sharing a drink. You understand? Understanding our oppression and understand that the brother that's left to me, the brother that's right to me, the sister that's left to me, the sister that's right to me, we care about. And we would die to protect them in this truth, man. You understand? That's what we on. You know, as far as these pagan holidays, we on one mind and one mind only. One team, one sound. You understand? One drum. We beat up the same drum. We not over here like some big Christian uh, 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 choir. One person doing this, the homosexual uh, 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 choir director, directing over here to do this and correct over to do that. Now it's one message and one message only, man. And as far as these pagan holidays, man, we have to be on one message and one accord to that. We can't just do what we want to do, man. Christ right here in this scripture, you know what I'm saying, he was being approached. You know, he, he approached Christ saying, you know what I'm saying, why, why, why? Uh, Christ, Christ asked him, what, what, why, what's your excuse for you following the traditions of men? What's your excuse for transgressing the law? You come and be about more than mine. What's your excuse? You understand? And basically saying, you can't do what you want to do. There's no excuse about it. You have to follow what's in this book right here, man. Go to verse 8. Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. What? This people draw mouth unto me with their mouth. Ye hypocrites. Right? Well, the lions prophesy of you saying, right. This people draw now to me with their mouth. These people drive now to me with their what? With their mouth. With their what? Mouth. With their mouths, man. It's a whole lot of lip service that goes on in the black, uh, black native and Hispanic community. <laughs> Trying to 
trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.